Hi everyone, it's Nick back with another Lawless Films reaction. Uh, we're gonna watch this year's Emmy nominations. Uh, I haven't been really keeping up with my shows as much as I really should have, so I feel like this year more than recent years, I'm kind of in the dark in terms of the quality of these shows. I haven't seen a lot. I've only seen a couple things. I've been busy. But uh, I'll still give my reaction anyway, and you guys can let me know what you think about these Emmy nominations in the comments. But before I do that, please like this video and subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date on all new upcoming content. What am I hoping for? I'm hoping for uh, some... I Honestly, I have no idea what to expect, so we should just probably get right into it. Here to announce the 76th Emmy Award nominations from Abbott Elementary and the upcoming film The Fabulous Four, Emmy winner Cheryl Lee Ralph, and three-time Emmy winner from Inside Out 2, and the upcoming comedy series The Decamerons on Netflix, Tony Hale. Cheryl and Tony, good morning. Good welcome, morning. welcome, good luck, hey. have fun, have fun. Thank, thank you, done. thank you, and thank you, Chris. Tony, Whew. look at us. Look at us. We are on stage yep. here at the famed El Capitan Theater. Mm. But enough about that, mm. tell me about Beyonce. Oh, I would love nothing more, 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 but we only got 11 minutes. So oh, we got 11, 11 minutes. minutes. Beyonce needs an hour. Yeah. But anyway, what can we say? Let's get started. Oh, wow. For our first category of the morning, here are the nominees for Outstanding Talk Series. I love Tony. Yeah, I love Tony. The Daily Show. Okay. Ever to run for president, breaking by only four years the record that they set. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel Live. He wasn't getting any attention. He couldn't stand it. And so then the Adderall McFlurry kicked in, and he went right on. And Late night with Seth Meyers. With Vice President Kamala Harris. Hmm, did he forget his wallet with her, too? Ho, ho, ho. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Smile file. Donald Trump became the first former president to go on criminal trial. Congratulations to the nominees. I hope The Daily Show wins that. Series. Hope the Daily Show wins that now, one. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Reality Competition Program. The Amazing Race. Ooh, I like the Amazing Race. We got people flying on both sides of us. We're trying to dodge Thank people. You. Turn, 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 turn. RuPaul's Drag one Race. Final this one's been Please winning a lot. Honestly. It's okay. Are you registered to vote? Yeah. Top Chef. Destroy it, build it up again, throw it on the floor, throw it up into the ceiling, grab things, use techniques you've never used before. The traitors. Ooh, I want the traitors to win. I'm the most unlikely suspect, but I actually care about a lot of these people, but they must die. <laughs> the voice. Is a global superstar. <laughs> How much did you pay him? <laughs> so mad at him right now. I told you our relationship was strong. The traitors. Congratulations to the I want that one to win. For outstanding reality competition program. All right, here are the nominees for outstanding lead actor in a limited or anthology series or movie. Matt Bomer, fellow travelers. Okay. I haven't seen Richard it. Gad, Baby Reindeer. Again. I should watch that one, actually. John Hamm, Fargo. John Hamm. Tom Hollander, Feud, Capote versus the Swans. Yeah, haven't. Andrew Scott, Ripley. I haven't seen any of these. I don't know what to say. Congratulations to the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor. I like, the, I like all these actors. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Limited or Anthology Series or Movie. Jodie Foster, Ooh. True Detective, I, Night Country. I've seen that. I hope it wins. I hope Jodie Foster wins. Brie Larson, Lessons in Chemistry. Juno Temple, Fargo. Ooh. And the shoe is nominated for... It's cool. Sofia Vergara, Griselda. I think she's probably the favorite to Naomi win. Watts, Feud, Capote versus the Swans. I like Shirley Foster. I want Shirley Foster to win. For 
outstanding lead actress in a limited anthology series or movie. And here are the nominees for outstanding limited or anthology series. Baby Reindeer. And I knew she was dangerous, but she flattered me. And that was enough. Fargo. I'll make you a promise. I'm gonna kill you. Lessons in Chemistry. Welcome, viewers. My name is Elizabeth Zott, and this is Supper at Six. Oh, wow. Ripley. Oh my God. <laughs> Couldn't have been fish blood. I should watch True these. Detective. I've seen True Detective, I so I hope that one wins. together and figure out any. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm not working with you again ever. <laughs> Congratulations to the nominees for outstanding limited or anthology series. Here are the nominees. Lead actress in a drama series. Lead actress in a drama series. Let's go. Jennifer Aniston. The Ooh, Marvel man. Carrie Coon, The Gilded Age. Yeah. That's a good one. Maya Erskine. Oh, Mr. cool. And Mrs. Smith. Anna Sawai. Oh, that's awesome. Sure. I've seen Shogun, so I hope I hope she wins. Imelda Staunton, The Crown. Oh, and Imelda Staunton's really great in The Crown too. So, those are both Reese great. Reese Witherspoon, The Morning Show. And Reese Witherspoon, of course. All right. This is a good lineup, I think. This is a pretty good lineup. I like all these actresses. I hope uh, Shogun wins this one. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. Idris Elba, Hijack. Oh, wow. Donald Glover, Mr. Oh, that's cool. I guess that show's popping off. Walton Goggins, Fallout. Oh wow. Gary Oldman, Slow Horses. Yeah, that was always happening, I think. Hiroyuku Sanada. Ooh, Hiroyuku Sanada. I hope he wins. Dominique West, The Crown. Um, Dominique West, yeah. Congratulations to the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. I hope Shogun wins. And here are the nominees drama series. Drama series. The Crown. The Crown was good. I like The Crown a lot. I prob I hope that probably wins this category. Fallout. Oh, I'm, I, I should check out Fallout. That looks pretty good. The Gilded Age. And people love The Gilded Age. I need to check out The Gilded Age. There's so many shows I need to watch. The Morning Show. This plane I'm going, is that crazy? Oh. Are you ready to defy gravity? Oh my god, I haven't tried to defy gravity for 15 years. I'm, I'm nervous. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And yeah, this is probably going to get nominated because... Shogun. In Shogun. Boo. Slow horses. Slow horses. Cool. Cool. Like, these are all good nominations. Comp Ooh, the three bo body problem. Okay. That's its only nomination so far, right? Okay, um, I hope The Crown wins. If not The Crown, then Shogun. Uh, those are my two favorite. And here are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. Okay, let's do this. Matt Berry, What We Do in the Shadows. Good. Larry David, Curb Your Enthusiasm. I hope Larry wins. That would be awesome. Steve Martin, Only Murders in the Dark. Oh, I love, that would be great too if Steve Martin wins. Martin Short, only murder. Oh, they both they both got in this time. That's actually nice. Jeremy Allen White, the bear. 
And then Jeremy Allen White is probably going to win this. Reservation dogs. Oh, cool. Congratulations to the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. That'd be awesome if Larry David won. That'd be so cool for the last season of Curb. That'd be awesome. The nominees for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. Quinta Brunson, Abbott Elementary. Good. She's great in that show. Ayo Edibiri, the bear. Oh, she's so good in the bear, too. She's like the best part of the bear. <gasps> Only murders in the building. Maya Rudolph, Loot. Jean Smart, I love her. Hacks. <laughs> Kristen Wig, Palm Royale. Oh my god. Selena Coma's got in. That's so cool. Congratulations. I love that. I love that so much. That's awesome. Comedy series. Uh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> well, Tony. Yep. It's time for the big finale. Yeah, and is. I think we need a heavy hitter. Someone with a lot of gravitas. Nice. nice. This calls for the top brass. Yes. To introduce the nominations for outstanding comedy series, please welcome back. Television Academy Chair, Chris Abrego. Thank come on down. Thank you Chris. both. Great job. Great job. Congratulations to all, all right, the come on. Uh, before I do this, no. I have something else really exciting to do. Oh. Share some news oh. uh, with, for you, Cheryl. You have been nominated <gasps> for Best Supporting Actress in the Pop. Oh. Well, she won last time, so it makes yeah. sense. Well hey. That makes sense. Oh, congratulations. Yes. Honey, that never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> That news to you. Uh -huh. Here are the nominees for outstanding comedy series. Abbott yeah, Elementary. Well. Abbott. Janine smokes weed every day. <gasps> no. Damn, Abbott Romance. Nope. <laughs> Not every day. Every night. Janine. What's wrong with that? Ganja. The Devil's Lettuce. Oh my god. The Bear. The Bear. What a comedy series. Is the Barry comedy series? Curb your enthusiasm. Not because he's under sequester. He broke the sequester. He broke the sequester. He's supposed to sequester. He's supposed to sequester. He's supposed to sequester. Us. You can't not sequester. Well, yeah, I know you. Sequester. Don't sequester. Don't. Okay. Good one. Besides, if I apologize, it'll just add fuel to the fire. Deborah, I can't be woke. I'm exhausted. Only murders in the, the building. I love Only Murders. That show's so good. Any time. No. I'm guessing you're going to put your hand in in a minute. No. That too. Palm Royale. Three breaths, hot Oh. He found the cream to cacao after all. We sent you I need to watch Palm Royale. I haven't really heard much about the show. Reservation Dogs. I'm here to continue this story. A story. As old as time. A story as fresh as Mountain Dew. Shift. <laughs> A story that happened yesterday. What we do in the shadows. If this is about yeah. my sexual intercourse, I saw the doctor and took the test. No, that was a cosmic test <laughs> that you took, Carl. Which sex in the city icon are you? And I was Kim Cattrall. Congratulations to the nominees for Outstanding Comedy Series. Mm -hmm. All right, that's, that's cool. No. And the award that's cool. Announcements. Oh, no, it's over. All of today's yeah, 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 yeah. So that was pretty exciting. Um, thoughts. Initial takeaway, best thing that happened was Selena Gomez getting nominated. I did not anticipate that that much. I guess I should have. I haven't really. I guess I really should have. Um, it's. I'm just really excited that that happened. Uh, other than that, everything seems pretty predicted. Everything seems to make sense. It looks like the bear's probably going to run away with comedy series. Um, I don't know. I think that show should be in the drama category if you actually watch it. I've seen every episode of the show, and it just feels like category fraud at this point. And I like the show, but uh, it's... It's a very dramatic comedy series. Uh, thoughts on drama? It looks like 
it's going to come down to the crown or shogun i don't think i think the other shows have their support and their groups and their fan bases um but i don't think the rest of the drama series shows have the momentum to outpace those shows in terms of who's gonna just run away with the emmys this year i think uh since ted lasso is done and the bear won last time uh the bear just seems like unstoppable in comedy series um but right now i'm going to react to the other like supporting categories and stuff like that all right so i'm looking at the rest of the nominations and off the bat we have a outstanding animated program we have blue eyes samurai uh the tale of the ronin and the bride netflix then we have bob's burgers then we have Scavenger's Reign. Then we have The Simpsons. And then we have X-Men 97. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, maybe X-Men 97 wins that category. That could be fun. Uh, I watched. I just started watching that and, and the old animated show. Uh, and it's actually pretty good. Um, outstanding production design. Crown, Fargo, Gentleman, Morning Show. And True Detective, Fallout, Kill the Dage, Palm Royale, Ripley, Shogun, for Outstanding Production Design, for Narrative Program Production Design, Bear, Frasier, <laughs> Frasier got nominated for Production Design, that's so funny, <laughs> Hacks, Only Murders in the Building, What You Do in the Shadows, Production Design for Variety, uh, Last Week's Name, John Oliver, The Late Show, Stephen Colbert, RuPaul's Drag Race, Saturday Night Live, Squid Game, The Challenge, Casting for a Comedy Series. Um, we have Abbott Elementary, The Bear, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Hacks, Only Murders in the Building. That's cool. I skipped over production design for App Variety Special, Dick Van Dyke, Grammy Awards, Hannah Waddingham, and the Oscars. I don't know which one that won, honestly. Casting, I guess Only Murders. That'd be cool. Casting for drama. Okay. So yeah, The Crown and Shogun are both both here. Mr. and Mrs. Smith really performing high. I did not anticipate that. Then you have Slow Horses and The Morning Show. You don't have The Gilded Age in here. So I think that pretty much uh, seals The Gilded Age. The Gilded Age doesn't... It doesn't seem like The Gilded Age can win drama series now. Because it's not in casting, I feel like. Like I said, I think it's The Crown or Shogun. Directing for comedy series, Abbott Elementary, The Bear. Okay, Abbott Elementary, The Bear, another one for The Bear, The Gentleman, Hacks, and The Mrs. Pat Show. Okay, so for directing, there's no Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and there's no Only Murders in the Building. So again, I think it's going to be hard for only murders in the building to win comedy series now unfortunately because it's not in uh directing that's tough i really like only murders so that's unfortunate it does seem like it's gonna be the bear but which episode do you pick out of these two for the bear like i forget oh the rami youssef one that's the one where uh he uh he goes to denmark I think the fishes. Okay. Directing for a drama series. The Crown, The Morning Show, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Shogun, Slow Horses, and Winning Time. Again, no Gilded Age. It seems like Gilded Age is toast. Shogun Crimson and Sky. That could that was pretty good. And the Crown Sleep Dark Sleep was good too. Uh like these shows. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I like what's, I like what I see, so I like the shows that are nominated. Uh, directing for a variety series, Daily Show, Jimmy Kimmel, Late Show with Stephen Colbert, and Saturday Night Live. Um, I really like The Daily Show. I really hope The Daily Show wins with Jon Stewart. Um, directing for Variety Special, 
out of all these, I'm not sure. I guess the Oscars is probably the only, because it's the only one I've seen. Supporting actor. Okay. So Marcus got nominated for The Bear. Paul W. Downs for Hacks. The Bear. You got Evan Moss Baccarat. Only Murders in the Building. Paul Rudd was nominated in Supporting Actor in a Comedy for Only Murders in the Building. Oh my god. Then Abbott, Tyler James Williams. And then Saturday Night Live, Bowen Yang. He, who's the funniest one on SNL now. Damn, I can't believe Paul Rudd got nominated. That's insane. Oh my god. Who wins this category? Does the bear split? I honestly don't know. Supporting actor in a drama series? Okay. Oh, Shogun. And then Billy Crudup, Mark Duplass. John Hamm also got nominated again. So John Hamm has two Emmy. John Hamm is nominated twice at this year's Emmy, so that's insane. Shogun again, Slow Horses, The Crown. Jonathan Price is nominated. That's fun. Uh, supporting actor in a limited... Okay, I haven't really seen these. Actress in comedy series, Pomerel, The Bear... Tina got nominated for The Bear. That's awesome. <gasps> Meryl Streep got nominated for Only Murders in the Building. That's insane. Oh my god. Is Shirley Brown. Oh my god. Does she win that category, Meryl Streep? That would be insane. Holy shit. Supporting actress in a drama. Elizabeth Becky for The Crown. Yeah. Greta Lee for The Morning Show. That's fun. Leslie Manville for The Crown. Morning Show. Morning Show. Wow, that's cool. I guess this one like go, probably would go to Elizabeth Debicki. I really like Greta Lee, though, in Past Lives. That movie was awesome. Um, okay, Supporting Actress. Oh, True Detective got nominated. That's awesome. That's cool. Haven't seen any of these. Okay. Guest actor, Matthew Broderick, Christopher Lloyd, Bob Odenkirk for The Bear, Will Poulter for The Bear, John Berthnall for The Bear, that's so funny, and Ryan Gosling for SNL hosting. Outstanding guest actor in a comedy series is an insane category. Guest actor in a drama series, Shogun One in Time, Slow Horses, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, outstanding guest actress in a comedy series, Fine Joy Randolph. SNL hosting for My Rudolph and Kristen Wiig, Jimmy Lee Curtis, and Olivia Coleman. Yeah. Well, I really like these Emmy nominations. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date on all new upcoming content. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.